Hi, welcome back to the Techno Wizard Show. Happy 4th of July, Independence Day here in the United States of America. And I thought I'd show you my latest high voltage project that I've been working on. What I got here is an ignition coil uh, right here. And those little sparks that I just saw were with a spark gap, which I got help from uh, somebody over at Lowell Makes. It's a makerspace, smaller than the Geek Group in Land Rapids, Michigan, but it's in Lowell, Massachusetts. So I got these L brackets. They're, I think, brass plated, you know, just to try to have a nice round spark gap there. You see how small it is? And the sparks were just able to j jump across. Now this is your average uh, 12 volt external resist, uh, resistor required, but what I think they actually meant is external condenser or capacitor, and that's this piece here. Because that's what's actually needed to make this work. So, as you know from other ignition coil videos, you have a positive and negative terminal, and the high voltage terminal is in the middle, which I am simply connecting to through a uh, clip to a nail. And why do I need four batteries? Wouldn't that be 6, 12, 18, 24 volts? Not exactly. The way this driver works is it uses this 12 volt relay. And this relay, as you see here, it has the coil on the left and the little contactors on the right. It's supposed to bounce back and forth. But it's not quite bouncing back and forth like it should. Here we have your classic Frankenstein knife switch. Watch what happens when I turn it on. The left, uh, see we have that little spark that hits from the six volt battery connecting on the right hand side. There's these two batteries here run the ignition coil and these two batteries here run the relay. So whenever this switch is on like that, it makes the, the uh, spark happen, but only, but only when, when I, I turn the switch off. That's when you hear that pop. Switch is on. Switch goes off. It's charging the capacitor, and it discharges the capacitor. And even then, the spark doesn't always fire. So, what's supposed to be happening here inside of the relay is that, the, that these little contacts right in here are supposed to bounce back and forth. You can hear how they sort of, but if you look at it, they're not really moving at all. Now, if I change the connection on the relay, to change this left hand side is the low voltage uh, area. If I change a connector, this is the battery positive terminal. And if I move it down over here, you see those two are bridged together. And these two on the left that stick out to the sides, those are for the coil. And this jumps the gap over to the plate. So watch what happens now when I throw the switch. The contact switches. And this is what I want to happen. But I want this to happen repeatedly. Over and over and over again. And look what happens over here. This many, many times per second want to have a big old active spark to happen constantly through there to get my high voltage continuous output at some alternating current frequency. So that is what I need help with. If I separate out the spark gap a little wider, that's considerably wider, it'll still work. See how big these sparks are? So yeah, that is like almost half a centimeter. So what's actually as close to a centimeter. 
So that's close to 10,000 volts at probably a couple of milliamps. And, and all I'm doing to make that is on, off, on, off. This action causes this action causes this action. Sometimes the spark happens so quickly that the camera doesn't pick it up, but you're seeing most of them. So, yeah, what I might try instead is to look up the part number for this relay. It was a Radio Shack, but of course, who has Radio Shack anymore? Here are the pinouts. So, as you see, there are eight pins. So, yeah. How can I wire this up so it will constantly repeat when 12 volts is applied? Post in the comments if you could help me out so I can get some cool high voltage sparks going. And then, well, what I'm eventually going to do with this probably is build a 555 timer. It was like a MOSFET or something so I can have it switching uh, at a constant 60 hertz. So I have like say 20,000 volts at, I don't know, between 10 and 20 milliamps. Some websites say up to 25, 30 milliamps. And then use that at, um, as a battery powered substitute for a neon sign transformer as the power source for a Tesla coil. So that's kind of where I'm going with this as a portable self-contained all on one piece of wood once I get some L brackets and hose clamps uh, type of device so I can have portable high voltage so that is my little happy Independence Day experiment yay freedoms glad to be an American so here's my little fireworks version so here's my hand versus where everything is all at once. Yeah, bye Yankee Doodle Doo. See you next time.